Hello. Time is such a funny thing, isn't it? Never enough of it, but if you were able to play with it, bend it, control it, you would know everything. This. Let me, let me tell you about this. This was invented by a guy named Peter. Yes, there he is. Odd fellow. Now, he managed to invent a device. Well, in actual fact, I'll allow him to explain it himself. Oh, well, it's actually quite a nifty little device, really. So what's going to happen is that I've managed to alter the physical and the quantum mechanical properties of that picture frame that you see over there, such that when I manage to turn this light on, it will take my matter apart, disassemble it into photons, which will then pre be projected by this array of lights through the picture frame, allowing me to transport myself somewhere else in space and time. In a manner of speaking, Peter had created a time machine. Granted, it was a time machine that could only take him to one particular place at one particular yes. time, but it was a time machine nonetheless. I wasn't entirely sure how it worked, but one moment there was a picture frame, and then... Is that the War Memorial at 9 a.m. this morning? Well, how are those going to fit through there? Ah! <coughs> okay. Oh, it worked. Okay, what's the time? Peter met up with his supervisor, ran his stupid little oh, errand, and walked home feeling very triumphant, not knowing what awaited for him when he got home. Having found a dead body of himself lying on the floor, Peter decided to do the most rational thing possible. Okay, so it's 9.30 now. I, I left at 9, which means that I must have died somewhere between 9 and 9.30. So all that means is I just need to go back again and get back quicker to find out how I died. And prevent it, of course. Yeah. Okay, I need, what's the time? Having found a dead body at 9.30, Peter realised that he needed to find a quicker way to get home to find out what had actually happened. And to get home faster, you need a faster vehicle. Well, fuck. And so Peter tried the same ordeal again. This time acquiring a vehicle, which will surely get him home in time to find out what was really going on, and meeting a few familiar faces along the way. the car.
I'm not dead. Shoot me. The man had to go. He invented this machine to run a couple of petty errands. But with a few tweets we could do so much more.